Kellogg's Pep, the super delicious cereal, presents The Adventures of Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. After defeating Superman and leaving him for dead on a lonely beach, Henry Miller discovered that the solution of kryptonite in his blood, which transformed him into an atom man able to generate terrific atomic power, had been exhausted in the titanic battle. Determined to destroy Germany's enemies, Miller called on a strange fat man named Sidney, the money-hungry creator of the Nazi spy system, and told him that a woman called the Scarlet Widow possessed the only remaining kryptonite in the world. Seeing an opportunity for untold wealth, Sidney agreed to try to get the kryptonite. As we continue now, the gaunt, ugly widow and her little cockney henchman, Sniggers, are in their hideout behind an innocent-appearing book and gift shop in Metropolis. It is just after midnight, and both of them, contemplating a huge pile of crisp banknotes, are in high spirits. Listen. Two million dollars. And when Papa Roush gets here, we'll have three million. We're rich, with it. We're rich. Yes, I'm a happy woman tonight, Sniggers. I've got money again. Power. And the only man who ever double-crossed me, der Teufel... Is dead. All on account of that little piece of kryptonite I copped out of the Metropolis Museum that night. Who never have thought it'd bring us all this money? I told you it would. I knew the vulture and Papa Rausch and the laugher would pay me almost anything I asked for the power to control Superman. You was right with it. You're always right. I never seen blokes fork up a million so fast as the vulture and the laugher when you give them their pieces of the blooming staff tonight. When's Papa Rausch coming for his? He said he'd be here within the hour. Good. Then we can hop it out of this dump. Where we go? I was thinking of the Argentine. Fleischman writes there are lots of opportunities down there. Hey, that sounds good to me, Wither. We'll have a high old time with all that money. What? Someone's at the door. Wait, must be Pepper Roush. I'll let him in. Wait, it may not be Roush. It must be. He said he was coming right away. That's so loud. Sure it's Pepper Roush. Who else can it be? How do I know? It might be the police. The police? Or some of our friends who found out we've got all this money. We are not taking any chances. Quick, help me get the money into this drawer. All right. Maybe you ain't going to take this haul away from us now, sir. <laughs> there. Be careful now. Walk quietly to the door. All I'm saying is it better be nobody except Pepper Rouse. What? Stand to one side of the door. Who is it? An old friend, Widow. <laughs> Sydney. Sydney. How did he ever find us? You can find anyone. I wonder what he wants. Are oh, you going to let me in, my dear? Don't let him in. I don't trust that fat blow. I'm not afraid of him. Open the door. No, Willie. He's smart. He's after the money. He'll steal it from us. He won't steal it from me. Open the door. Well, you're right here, but I don't like it. Ah, good evening, Widow. <laughs> Just as lovely as ever. And you're as fat as ever, Sidney. Close the door, Snickers. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The ever faithful Snickers. <laughs> Cheerio, Jerry. Hello, Sidney. What brings you here so late at night? <laughs> it is late, isn't it? Well, I'll sit down if you don't mind. <laughs> oh. <sighs> now we get to business. What business? I'll come right to the point, my dear. I understand that you have some, um, kryptonite. How did you know? <laughs> How did I know? What a silly question, Sneakers. I know everything. You, uh, you were about to say something, Widow. I did have it, Sidney. It's gone now. Gone? Yes, I sold it. All of it? All three pieces? That's right. <laughs> You're lying, my dear. No, she ain't. We sold Shut them up, to... Snickers. None of his business whom we sold them to. Quite right. If you sold all three pieces. But I don't believe you did. Why? And because, as I understand it, kryptonite is Superman's mortal enemy. He's helpless in, in its presence. Yeah, of course, you know this, or you wouldn't have stolen the fragment in the first place. Who said we stole Please it? Please tell this fool to be quiet. Shut up, know. Snickers. Go ahead, Sidney. You knew <clears throat> that you could get a tremendous price for the kryptonite from Superman's enemies. If you had already disposed of all of it, as you say, you wouldn't be hiding in Metropolis with the police looking for you. Hmm. 
I won't beat around the bush with you, Sidney. <laughs> it wouldn't be healthy, my dear. I'm not afraid of you. But we've done a lot of business together, so I'll tell you the truth. I've already sold two of the pieces of kryptonite. The third and last piece is promised to a man who'll be here to get it and pay me for it tonight. Oh, I knew all of it wasn't gone. I want that last piece, Widow. Impossible, Sidney. This man is too powerful to make an enemy of. I'm sorry. <laughs> no man is powerful when he's dead. <laughs> Look, I'm dead. Hey. I realize that, but it might be easily arranged. <laughs> you see? Now, look here, Sidney. I don't want to get mixed up with any of your Gestapo tactics. I played a long and dangerous game, and I've won. Now I intend to leave the country safely with my money. And that's what it is. My dear Widow. I assure you that if you sell the kryptonite to me, you'll be taking no chances. I'm not so sure. But if you don't, I doubt that you'll leave this country at all. What? I've told you before, Sidney, you can't scare me. <laughs> I've no intention of scaring you, my dear. I only wish to point out that unless you sell me that last piece of kryptonite, the police will be informed of where you are. And if you leave here without my permission, they'll be kept informed of your movements until they catch up with you. I think you know me and my organization well enough to realize that even you can't hide from us long. Oh, I'll fix you! I uh, wouldn't try to use that knife, Snickers, if I were you. <laughs> Apart from the fact that I'd shoot you first, my man Shito's outside. Shito? Exactly. Well, Widow, you always think quickly. What do you say? I think I'd enjoy killing you, Sidney. But, of course, you're much too sensible to try. Yes. All right. You win on one condition. What's that? You'll pay me the same price I was to get from my other customer. One million dollars. Well, that's a great deal of money. Take it or leave it. Oh, I'll take it. Frankly, I expect to make much, much more than that with the stuff. <laughs> much, much more. Oh, well, I, I must be going. Just one, one thing more. The man you're expecting tonight, what's his name? Papa Rausch. You know him? Yes, yes, of course. If you'll open the door, please, niggers, I, uh, I'll leave and make the necessary arrangements for Papa Rausch. Right, I'll be glad to see the last of you, I will. I'll return later for the kryptonite. I'll be here. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Good night, widow. Good night, Snickers. Smiling pleasantly, Sidney waddles through the door to arrange a murder. And so get possession of the kryptonite, which will once again transform Henry Miller into a deadly atom man. We'll return in a moment for the startling climax of today's episode. But right now, here's a word from your announcer. You know, Kang, even if you tried, I'll bet you couldn't think of a more exciting prize than those new comic buttons from packages of Kellogg's Pet. Think of it, Superman and Orphan Annie and Moon Mullins, 18 different comic strip characters in all. And you can collect them easy as pie. You don't send in any money, not even a box top. Fact is, you can't buy these comic buttons anywhere. You just ask Mom to get you a good supply of that super delicious whole wheat flake cereal, Kellogg's Pep. Then look inside the package and see which prize you find. One of these keen new comic buttons or a military insignia or warplane button. It's your prize from P.E.P. -E Pep, made by Kellogg's of Battle Creek. Now back to the adventures of Superman. As Sidney, the fat man, was preparing to obtain possession of the last piece of kryptonite, Jimmy Olsen, who had returned to Metropolis, has just come back to the village of Linwood, summoned by Sheriff Simpson. And as we join them, the boy reporter and the sheriff are now entering the hospital where Superman had been brought from the beach where he had been found near death after his mighty battle with the Atom Man. Well, who is this man you want me to see, Sheriff? Well, pretty sure this is the fellow you saw on the beach yesterday, Olsen, with Miller and Teufel. We're hoping you can identify him. Here, up these stairs. Oh, but gosh, Sheriff, I didn't see his face. Well, anyhow, seeing as how you was mixed up in it, might just be you know this fella. Doc Bruce and that specialist they had out from Metropolis say he won't last through the night. We'd like to know who he is so we can get in touch with his family. Gee, the poor guy. Yeah, uh, this way. His room's right down the hall. All right. And if you can identify him, we might be able to find out what Miller and Teufel was up to. And where Miller went. That would suit me fine. Miller's a dirty Nazi and he's got to be caught. Well, nobody's been able to catch him so far. Hold it. Here's the room. Is he still unconscious? Yeah. Uh, he ain't woke up since they dug him out of that hole in the sand. Come on, he's in that bed there. What the? Oh, what's the matter? Hey, 
There's nobody in this bed. No, he's gone. Gone where? How do I know? He was right in that bed an hour ago. He was unconscious, in a coma. And now he's gone. Holy smokes. Doctor, nurse, somebody come quick. Dr. Bruce, nurse. Startled, Jimmy Olsen rushes out into the hospital corridor, leaving Sheriff Simpson to stare incredulously at the empty bed in which only an hour ago, Superman lay in a coma, his life despaired of by the physicians. What has happened? Where is the dazed and stricken man of steel? Fellows and girls, our story has taken a strange new twist. Tomorrow's episode is dramatic and surprising. So don't fail to be with us when we learn the mysterious fate of Superman and find out if Sidney, the sinister fat man, succeeded in obtaining the last piece of kryptonite for Henry Miller. Tune in, same time, same station, for the adventures of Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Fellows and girls, be sure to follow the adventures of Superman. Brought to you every day, Monday through Friday. Same time, same station, by the grand old Kellogg Company of Battle Creek. And for other thrilling adventures of Superman, see your local newspaper. Superman is also a copyrighted feature, appearing in Superman DC Publications.